we're going to win this race. Just look at what has happened since yesterday. 24 hours, we were behind in Georgia. Now we're ahead, and we're going to win that state. 24 hours ago, we were behind in Pennsylvania, and we are going to win Pennsylvania. And now we're ahead, but uh, we're winning in Arizona, winning in Nevada. And in fact, uh, our lead just doubled in Nevada. We're on track to over 300 electoral votes, electoral college votes. And look at the national numbers. We're going to win this race with a clear majority of the nation behind us. We've gotten over 74 million votes. Let me repeat that, 74 million votes. That's more than any presidential ticket has ever gotten in the history of the United States of America. And our vote total is still growing. We're beating Donald Trump by over 4 million votes. And that's a margin is still growing as well. One of the things I'm especially proud of is how well we've done across America. And we're going to be uh, the first Democrat to win in Arizona in 24 years. We're going to be the first Democrat to win Georgia in 28 years. And we've rebuilt the blue wall in the middle of the country that crumbled just four years ago. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, the heartland of this nation. Is that record number of Americans of all races, faiths, religions, chose change over more of the same. They've given us a mandate for action on COVID, the economy, climate change, systemic racism. They made it clear they want the country to come together, not continue to pull apart. The people spoke, more than 74 million Americans, and they spoke loudly for our ticket. But while we're waiting for the final results, I want people to know we're not waiting to get the work done and start, our, start the, 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 the process. Yesterday, Senator Harris and I held meetings with groups of experts on public health and, economic, and the economic crisis this country is facing. The pandemic, as you also know, is getting more worrisome all across the country. Daily cases are skyrocketing, and it's now believed that we could spike, see as many as 200,000 cases in a single day. The death toll is approaching 240,000 lives lost to this virus. That's 240,000 empty chairs, kitchen tables, and dining room tables all across America. We'll never be able to measure all that pain and the loss, the suffering that so many families have experienced. We know something about what it feels to like to lose to some, it feels like to lose someone. And I want them to know they're not alone. Our hearts break with you. And I want everyone, everyone to know on day one, we're going to put our plan in, to control this virus into action. This recovery is slowing. Look, we both know tensions are high. They can be high after a tough election, the one like we've had. But we need to remember, we have to remain calm, patient. Let the process work out as we count all the votes. You know, we're proving again what we've proved for 244 years in this country. Democracy works. Your vote will be counted. And I don't care how hard people try to stop it. I will not let it happen. They want to get the vitriol out of our politics. We're certainly not going to agree on a lot of issues but at least we can agree to be civil with one another. We have to put the anger and the demonization behind us. It's time for us to come together as a nation to heal. It's not going to be easy, but we have to try. My responsibility as president will be to represent the whole nation. And I want you to know that I'll work as hard for those who voted against me as those who voted for me. That's the job. That's the job. It's called the duty of care for all Americans.